You said you play uh, D, you said? I can play D. You want to? I'll, I'll try center. Okay. Doug Van Hockerman is a great chance to come together with a group of guys for some camaraderie. Well, the Doug Van Hockey tournament is participation from all the pilots at all bases and just, just having fun, having fun. The Doug Van Hockey tournament is uh, something that we should strive to, to keep within our pilot group. It's something that uh, every young pilot should, should be a part of if they enjoy playing hockey. Well, the Doug Van Hockey Tournament is, is a, uh, a tournament that was uh, started 34 years ago by Doug Van. Well, Doug Van was my father, and uh, he was a pilot. Uh, he had a passion for hockey, um, friendship. He was, uh, led a very passionate life and he was very passionate about his friends and family and obviously uh, you know, flying and hockey. So that was his life and uh, he, had a, he was a larger than life personality. After my dad passed away, they decided that uh, they would um, honor his memory by hosting this tournament, creating this tournament and I don't think they really had any understanding of how far it would go and you know, how, how big it became. So. It was really a bunch of his friends and, and colleagues that decided to honor his name with uh, the creation of the Doug Van Hockey Tournament. Struck by the email that Matt Hogan had sent me, it seemed like an event that's been going on for quite a number of years. Uh, this is my third year. Uh, 15 years. This is my 32nd year. This is my 33 tournament here. Doug, Doug Van. Well, we've had guys play here. Uh, they played every single Doug Van. So 34 years of Doug Van. So that's Terry Kosh, Alanik, and uh, Bruce Earl. They played right from the first one, 1979 onwards. Hey, Bruce, let's have fun, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Competition. Oh, the competition is great. You know, people who are your close friends are the ones that are, you know, trying to trip you and interfere with you from scoring goals. It's a, it's a great rivalry. Uh, well, these guys are all nice guys off the ice, but you put a set of skates on them and it gets pretty intense, so. With the funds that are raised that will go into supporting our life-saving uh, mission of uh, reducing the burden and incidence of heart disease and stroke, it's a cause that touches the lives of one in three Canadians and so we are working towards preventing heart disease and stroke. Um, my dad had two heart attacks. Uh, the first one he had in 1971 and that ended his flying career as a pilot because he couldn't be licensed anymore. Uh, personal family members that have suffered heart attacks in fact, sadly, my, uh, my wife's brother just passed away from a heart attack this week, so it's very close to my heart. Uh, I lost my father two years ago to a stroke, and uh, I, I dedicated our uh, success at that tournament to my dad. He'd only died 10 days before the tournament. Uh, and then the second heart attack, when he was 44, killed him, so... I think it's a very worthwhile cause. Uh, we all know somebody who's been affected by a heart attack or a stroke, and uh, we think you know, raising the funds, giving the money forward, I think is a really good thing for us to do.
And there's a very personal connection to the cause. And while most of the pilots probably didn't work with Doug Van, the fact that they come out year after year and play in the hockey tournament, raising funds for Heart and Stroke, I think that's a pretty incredible testament to a man that made an impact within his uh, industry and within his association. Sun said it best. It says, "May Doug's spirit of friendship continue on in all of us and in the tournament of the Bears' name." That's Doug. That's Doug Van Hoffman right there.